Alright everybody, I'm going to teach you very quickly on how to make a mods folder for your 5M. Since you're probably new to GTA or 5M and you don't know what you're doing or you haven't created a mod folder or you had a mods folder and somehow it disappeared or you deleted it and you just want to get it back, it's very, very easy. I'm just going to teach you how to do it real quick. So the first thing you want to do is locate your 5M application data. So the first thing you want to do is go down to your windows down here. You're going to click it. You're going to type 5M and then you're going to right click on it. You're going to hit open file location. And it's going to take you here. Once you're at 5M right here, it's going to automatically highlight it. You want to right click that as well and then go into the open file location again. That's going to take you to this page. You don't want to hit 5M again. You want to go up to, and then you want to hit 5M application data. And then you're going to click into it. Instead of right clicking, you're going to left click into it. Now, once you're here, as you can see, I already have a mods folder. But even if I didn't have a mods folder, what I would do is in this little open space, don't make sure you don't click or highlight any files. This open space, you're going to right click randomly. You're going to click new. It doesn't really matter what Windows version you're using, it's always going to be a new button where you can create something new like a folder, a shortcut or something. But you're going to hit new, you're going to hit folder, and it's going to automatically create a folder. Now I got to be very careful here because I don't want anything overriding anything because I already have a mods folder. But double check to make sure you don't have a mods folder. But when you're down here, you're going to uh, right click on the new folder that you just created. Click rename. In all lowercase, you're going to type mod and you're going to hit enter. And it's going to automatically do what it needs to do to be settled in your 5M application data. So it's very simple. It's very easy. I'm going to delete that. But that's how you create a mods folder. You got to go into your 5M application data to get that done. And in your 5M mods folder, you can add things like RPFs. Anything that says RPF file where it says type here, and right here in this column where the mouse is, it says RPF file. You only add RPF files to the to the mods folder because if you don't add RPF files, your game could break. Some other things could happen where your game could look crappy. Only add RPF files. Other than that, that's exactly how you do the mods folder. Very quick, very easy, very simple and effective. If you guys enjoyed the video, have a great day.